Hey, 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 guys, welcome back. So, on this one, we're just going to run through how to quickly fly through one of the new skeleton camps and get the new high value loot out of it. So, without further ado, let's go. So, if you haven't done them yet, you've just got to run over to this doorway and light the lanterns or torches, whichever you call them. And then time to go down below. Ah, so when we get down here, just gonna head into the main compartment. Alright, so what it's all about, guys, is all these little images in the boxes. So, to get it started, let's light the stargaze and see what we're gonna get. So we are looking for the bat, the crab spider thing, and the owl. So we're just bringing this up. And it's none of them ones, so we will have to move it around. Right, so we've got the owl. So what we need to do, we need to bring it around into view. Just because you need to be able to highlight each individual point of it. So we've got that one there, so what we'll do is close that. And then you've basically just got to trace it. But if you miss, you've got to do it again, yeah? And you'll you'll hear that little that little sound, and then the image will light up. So we want to look for the next one. Right, so there's that one. So we want to bring that to around here. So we might just get it, yeah. There we go. And then it's the bat as well. Let's move that a bit further around. Just so we can see all the points on it. And that's when these little devils spawn. Luckily, they're all nice and easy to take out. Just gotta do a couple of waves of these and then kill the captain and then we shall get access into there which is the item that we want guys no we want you that's what we want Got any ammo pouches anywhere there we go Come on, pick up there with that.
There, there is ammo boxes around as well. Just depend where you go looking. Right, there we go. And as you can see, the captain's here. Very easy to complete, guys. That's all you do, come in here. Cancel that, there's a couple of coins there if you want to pick them up while you're waiting. So, pick this up, and there you go. I do want. And then it's just back to your ship, guys. Now, this item is worth exactly the same as the Chest of Fortune. So with these as well, if you wish, you can stack them. They are exactly the same as sea forts in the sense that they reset every 12 minutes. So you don't even have to sail around the map to do each individual one. All you have to do is sail away for 12 minutes and then come back to this one. Nice and simple. Right, so we'll go and sell this. Which you did all the way back up there with the wind against me. That is how quick and easy these are, these ones are, guys. Um, for you, you can sell them to your gold hoarders in Order of Souls. I haven't tried Merchant Alliance yet, but we'll try that in a moment. Right, so for selling it, as you can see, you can sell it to Merchant. And we'll get along here quickly. Gold Hoarders and the Order of Souls. So basically, yeah, you can sell it to every trading company, but you cannot sell it to Athena's, yeah? So we're just going to go here, and if you look in the top right hand corner, without emissary value added onto it, exact same price as the chest of fortune guys, and it takes literally 5 maybe 6 minutes to complete. So there's 6 of them around the island, uh, sorry around the sea of thieves that you need to complete for your commendations, and that bit, if you don't want to do that, if you just want in to get the orb and make some money there's a one near ancient spire where where is it there you go all you'd have to do is do that go up to barnacle get air three up to mercy's end fortress complete the fortress by the time you've done that and got back to barnacle k it'll reset so you don't even have to sail all the way around the map to, to get high value loot, loot all the time so guys, I hope that helped, and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.